surprise, another Quinn model released. <laughs> well, this one is more like an update to the Quinn image edit. They say 2509, but today is 23. Anyway, and this time you can do multi-image editing. So you can put multiple objects or characters or scenes and blend them together much easier. You have here some examples. So you can input a person, a clothing and a pose and you can make the person with that clothing in that position. Pretty nice. Two persons together and a place, two objects and one person. And well, I think you got the idea. And the faces in this model are much more consistent. Well, you can test it for free in their chat platform. So I asked it to put this penguin sitting in the chair in front of this woman. And here it is. <laughs> so I'm here. Look at that. This is my avatar picture. So I can pretend I have a girlfriend now. But what about running locally? Okay, so you can do that. It's basically the exact same thing as the regular Quent image edit. The only difference is that you need to input multiple images. I'm going to show it later on ConfUI how you do that. But you can go here and download the weights, but this is way too heavy. Probably should use this instead, the quantized models. I'm going to use this one, the Q3KS. Although it's pretty small, it's pretty high quality. So here it is, the workflow. So what you need to do is input the images up to three. When you click run, they will stitch together and run through the VAE. But you also need to input the images themselves separately. And then in the prompt, you have to specify the images. I mean, like image one, image two or image three. In this case, put the character from image one, like this character, that's me, sitting next to the character from image two, the Quen Capybara, on the chairs of image three. So this is the scene from the image three. So you need to specify that, otherwise it might not work. Then you click run and look at this. Not bad, huh? Pretty good. And bear in mind, this is the Q3KS version. So pretty small. I can run this on my 3060, 12 gigabytes, no problem. I'm gonna put this workflow in the description as well as all of the other links. So let me know what you think and don't forget to subscribe.